What's good sports gamers and today I'm going to be tackling trying to recreate the great Lakers legend Kobe Bryant. Not ball hit number 24 Kobe, I'm talking right before he cut the fro Kobe. So that's around 01-02 era. So when the game on the 2000-2001 Los Angeles Lakers is a slash and playmaker. So we'll use that as a guideline. It's going to be tough though because young Kobe was obviously able to drive, dunk, pass, hit a mid range and most importantly defend. But 2K makes it tough to nail every single one of those attributes. So I'm going to try to go without in spots when it's necessary and keep the must haves to keep this as accurate as possible. So right, let's get it. So to start we're going to be going with a playmaking and finishing pot chart which is third from the top. We obviously want that dunking ability and Kobe was the lead guard on LA so he must be able to dribble pretty well. For his physical profile, the balance one, which is the very last one, will best serve his combination of agility, strength to bully people in the paint to be able to dunk, and vertical to jump as high as he often did. The 86 speed is what I'm sacrificing at the moment because Kobe wasn't exactly Iverson in the speed department. But to make him faster under the pot chart, he will lose a significant amount of vertical or strength. For where to put your points, you want to max out your close shot, put your driving layup on 90 as well, which is one point from its max. And then max your driving dunk also, so they all should be at a 90. Moving on to shooting, Kobe wasn't really ever the best three point shooter, but he could hit a mid range, obviously, patterning his game after MJ. So you want to put that on 73. Now, I was just talking slick about his three point struggles, but you want to max your three pointer to 64, which isn't the best, but you're going to use the badges you get because your three pointer is a 64 to help your mid range game. And you also want to max your free throw. For playmaking, you put your pass accuracy on 86 and max out your ball handling so you can be a full-fledged lead guard. Now for defense. It was important to have this category nice because Kobe was already making all defensive teams this young. So we got to come correct. The first one you want to max is your interior defense. Then max out your perimeter defense so he's at 76 here. Then max out your lateral quickness to a 71. And then put your steal all the way up to a 75. Then move your block to a 70. And throw your remaining points that you have on defensive rebounding, which should put you at a 78 rating. And give you a final total of 18 finishing badges, 6 shooting, 19 playmaking, and 10 defense rebounding badges. For a grand total of 53 badges. For body type, I'm going to go with solid. Now as far as height, Kobe was 6'6", but we're making him 6'5". Close your eyes, you didn't see this part. And gonna put his actual listed weight in the game around this time of 200 pounds. And for his wingspan, I'm gonna give him default arms. Now with all that, your takeovers are gonna be slasher, playmaker, and shot creator. And we're gonna go with shot creator to boost his struggle looking shooting rate. And your comps as a slash and playmaker end up being Kobe Bryant, Jalen Brown, and James Harden. So that's not bad. As for badges, for defense and rebounding, I would go gold clamps, silver intimidator, silver interceptor, and bronze pick dodger, pickpocket, and rebound chaser. The main goal was to make sure his, at least his on ball defense was straight. For playmaking, I went with Hall of Fame quick first step, gold space creator, Gold Ankle Breaker, Gold Handle for Days, Silver Dimer, Silver Bailout to dish off those nice assists under the hoop out of your failed shot attempts, Bronze Unpluckable, and Bronze Live City Passer. For shooting, Gold Difficult Shots and Gold Quick Draw. With this build, he doesn't have a lot to work with, so might as well make him superhero and shoot over 15 defenders on the move. And lastly, for finishing, Hall of Fame Contact Finisher, Hall of Fame Slithery Finisher, Gold Fancy Footwork, Gold Giant Slayer, Gold Relentless Finisher, and the last upgrade on Bronze Acrobat. These badges should give this slash and playmaker Kobe plenty to work with to hold his own in the paint, while being able to do some stuff on the defensive side of the ball. Now I'm going to do a different Kobe Bryant build, and the second one is going to operate out of the red and orange playmaking, defense, and rebounding pot chart, which is the second to the last one. For his physical, I want to give him more speed while maintaining his strength, which as a result is going to knock down his vertical a bit. And this pie chart is the third one, which is mostly blue and purple. For his points, you're going to want to max out his close shot to 85, max his driving layup, put his driving dunk on 87, put his standing dunk on 56, 
and nudge his post hook to a 42, which will give you 15 finishing badges. For shooting, you're going to want to max out his mid range to a 72, put his three point shot on 67, max out his free throw, and post fade on 54. For his playmaking move, his pass accuracy rate into an 88, and max his ball handling to a nice 85. And lastly, for defense, max out his perimeter defense to an 85, max out the lateral quickness, put his steal on 85, and defensive rebounding on 81. So he's a way better defender on this build and faster. And with that, you should end up with 15 finishing badges, 7 shooting, 18 playmaking, and 16 defense rebounding, equaling 56 in total. Three more than our first build. For his height, I also put this one on 6'5", and same weight as before, 200 pounds. And regarding his wingspan, I'm going to go with the baby arms. And then your takeovers after all that, you should have four. They should be playmaker, slasher, lockdown defender, and shot creator. And once again, we're going to go with the shot creator. And he's now a two-way slashing playmaker. And your comps should be Jalen Brown, Kobe Bryant, and Zach Levine. As for your badges, for defense rebounding, I will go Hall of Fame clamps now, gold pick dodger, Silver Pickpocket, Gold Interceptor, Silver Intimidator, and Bronze Rebound Chaser, and throw the last upgrade on Chase Down Artists. So right away, Kobe as a defender is way better in terms of badges with one purple and two gold. For playmaking, I went with Hall of Fame Quick First Step, Gold Dimer, Silver Handle for Days, Silver Space Creator, Gold Ankle Breaker, Silver Bailout, Bronze Unpluckable, and Bronze Lob City Passer. For shooting, the same as before, only with an added bronze dead eye to go along with gold quick draw and gold difficult shots. And lastly, for finishing, he doesn't get Hall of Fame badges here, which sucks, but that's okay. We end up with gold contact finisher, gold slithery finisher, gold giant slayer, relentless finisher, and gold fancy footwork. Between these two builds, you're making yourself a worse finisher going from build 1 to 2, but are becoming a way better defensive player. Which trade-off would you make? Let me know in the comments down below. And stay tuned here at Sports Gamers Online for more NBA 2K20 content. So make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And once you're with us, hit that bell icon at the bottom so you don't miss anything we put out. Alright people, I'm Chris. Thank you all for watching. And be good, y'all.